But never I say my pen dream TV. Pen dream TV there. I see them. Yopo. Me mo akwa ba ede ba pen dream TV. So me sure say any day they can or share na or be subscribe to channel no. No a click a bell so say the the news too. I also say be chimia can interview with you. Aye on a boy John Jinapo. Aye na waba bantin na waba can be ache. Ba umi ani ne MPP ni akufwa di jina no chema. There is too much tax. Uh, a year 2024 budget. You are moody and shema. M1 uh, over uh, overbedding Ghana for now. The papa man can say, I'll buy me by now. I'll go for a do. Any bow me and MP before you now go to Jogu for more more pagana for a chow. Nan can you say tax be brain almost a day by be bugana for so I'm a neighbor now. A sense or my mercy up economy and a pie and yas and petwa. In this and can go for a year bow me and another in the MP before you now. Or more you be a or more gana who are dream punk, a sessa amri, a mra, or mudu amunku to jay, no monsa do monsa yam epa gana for a chosse or mupo machos or ma messy or conomine alpa, a man for whom a stroman and can yes say a year taxes no more sabbess a big gana for kumama gana for a bre. Men can sabbe brave in sack a video no ame persia beko no it is said a John Jenna for a dinner same to ya. I mean, as ever you yourself, you can tell deep within you that you lose this election. I mean, you don't need a soothsayer, you don't need a magician to tell you that this country is headed in the wrong direction. I wish the MPP would be bold to take a Japanese position. You see, this issue of, it's not Bahamir's fault, it's not Bahamir's fault. It's not from the NDC. You guys are watching this program, it's not from the NDC. Your own people have been saying that things are difficult, things are bad, but you cannot blame the vice president. And there are several examples. In fact, just this week, just this week, things have gone so bad that your national organizer, not the NDC's national organizer, the MPP's national organizer, has come to say that Kenoforata is making it difficult for you to win the election. I'm not saying it. You are your national organizer. He's supposed to organize your party so you can win the election. He says that this government is making it difficult for them to even campaign and that they should withdraw the emissions levy and the tax on the electricity consumption immediately. This is the MPP's national organizer. So I will be very happy. Look, Daniels, in short, if you summarize all what Honorable Ajapa has said, is that Baumia and the MPP and Akufado, they've done so well to give Baumia an extension. That's simply what he's saying. Then look, Given the circumstance, their performance has been excellent. So give them another opportunity to continue in the state that you find yourself. And he said, Honorable Jabba, you cannot, you cannot force us to accept the reality that we are in this mess not because of COVID. We are not in, COVID cannot be blamed for this mess. So how can all the other countries all of them, they never experienced the kind of condition we experience. Mention one country where people are paying COVID-19. Just one. You mention one. Tell me. Which country? They, they all went through COVID. So they don't want to recover. It's Cote d'Ivoire paying COVID-19. It's Nigeria paying COVID-19. You tell me. Just one country where they have imposed a levy called COVID recovery levy. Look, you have messed this economy. And instead of you to look in the eyes of the Ghanaians and apologize, you are here justifying the hardship you've imposed on Ghanaians. And he says that, oh, you passed the budget, but you're not implementing the revenue measures. Daniel, have you not been told that the revenue measure in respect of electricity consumption will no longer be implemented? Mm -hmm. Have we not been told that? Mm -hmm. Luxury vehicle luxury or whatever tax was it implemented was it not withdrawn so what was from this issue that you pass the budget but you don't support the revenue measures so you want to blame the NDC you have passed your budget the current budget you want to tax electricity consumption you found it wise to review it so what is wrong with the opposition saying that there's so much taxation in any case are we not overtaxing the people of Ghana your own organizer is saying that you're overtaxing the people of Ghana. A lot of your leading members have told you 
that the taxes are just too many, Randy. I mean, why? This country, this country, we are paying energy sector recovery levy. It never existed under President Mahama. We are paying pollution levy. It never existed under President Mahama. We are paying financial sector recovery levy. It never existed under President Mahama. We are paying COVID levy. It never existed under President Mahama. We are paying e-levy. It never existed under President Mahama. We are paying taxation now on non-life insurance. It never existed under President Mahama. We are paying emissions levy. It never existed under President Mahama. Abba. And when we tell you that you have failed, having promised us that you move this economy from taxation to production, you say, oh, we shouldn't say it. That is the reality. And please, fellow Ghanaians, look at your living condition and make a bold decision. This election is about your living condition. The job of the vice president is cut out. He is the head of the economic management team. He is the head. He is responsible for all these taxes. His main duty is to manage the economy. Look, I just read the latest Bank of Ghana report. And it made a very interesting revelation. Dr. Addison emphasized that Bank of Ghana had to withdraw nearly 44 billion in excess liquidity from the banking system through open market operations, what we call OMO. Around the 44 billion excess liquidity in the market. Why wouldn't inflation hit 52 percent? Why wouldn't inflation? The central bank itself is admitted that there was so much money to the tune of 44 billion in the economy. And when we tell you the head of the economy management team has failed, you say no, he hasn't failed. Then what is his duty? 44 billion? The size of Ghana's economy? Excess liquidity. When we talk of excess liquidity, it means that you don't need that money. It's paper money that this government has printed and pumped into the system. So you are taking people's money by pumping excess liquidity into the economy. And when we complain, you say, oh, don't complain. It is normal. Look, prior to COVID, in 2019, the currency depreciated by 13%. Check it, almost 13%, 12.9. That was the sign that told you that this economy was in distress. The only thing COVID did was to nail it. You run a deficit of 17%. No country, no country in South Southern Africa ran that deficit in 2020. The COVID year. Only Ghana. You run a deficit of 17%. In any case, did you suffer a haircut under President Mahama? Did Ghanaians suffer a haircut under President Mahama? Look, Mahama's administration is 10 times better than this administration. And the facts are there. Look, the facts are there. Highest inflation, highest debt to GDP ratio, excess taxation, high cost of living. I mean, every sector you take. And he says the lights were on. The fact is that when we're handing over to you, the lights were on. That's a fact. What's settle this matter here? Am I living with is even the vice president himself? So when you have a vice president who in 2016 can boldly look in the eyes of Ghanaians and say, look, yes. Doing so is over, but Mama cannot take credit. And then, two years after, he comes back to say that no, there was doing so. That vice president is dishonest. And that's a fact. So when we talk about dishonesty, it's not even the policy issues. It's about the inconsistency. You say this today, and tomorrow the same situation, you are changing it and telling us something different. I mean, you don't need any soothsayer to tell you that, look, this economy is in the wrong direction. Your own people, your own people, i have told you that, look, this economy is in the... Anyway, your, your team is doing so well, Randy. Why would 88 MPs ask for that? It's Mr. Law, the finance minister. You believe that you haven't failed. You believe that you've done so well. And that Ghanaians ought to credit you for doing so well. The same party... 88 MP says that, look, the economy is in the wrong direction. And so the finance minister should be asked. 
that the finance minister should be booted out, not MBC MPs, MPP MPs. And yet you have the courage to come and tell us. Anyway, tomorrow, I hope that Dr. Bamiya will listen to Nava Jaffa and tell Ghanians that look, as for me, I'm inextricable from Akufuado. We've done very, very well. As head of the economic management team, we've performed better. So vote for me so I'll continue. Let him be bold. Let him look in the eyes of Ghanaians. All this attempt to extricate him is because of the failure. There's a deliberate attempt. There's a post I'm looking for. Um, there have been a lot of posts by Kofi Bento in the yes. last few days. But there's a, one, a particular one where he speaks about um, the vice president not shouldn't appoint anybody. He should only work with uh, persons like Kwabna Japong. Um, there's, there's that particular one. Look, Randy, way back, and I've been checking Kofi Bento's Baumia best successor to Akofado. This one year into the administration. One year. Look, Kofi Bento is not independent. No, but he's always said that. Yes, he's, not, he's he did always, it. yes. No, so he's not hidden issue... it. So I don't want people to create the impression as if he's hidden the fact that he's a Baumia supporter. That is it. He wants to see, but he has never hidden it. Yeah. So, so I, I, let's not create the impression that um, he's, um, he's hiding it and he's being exposed. He's made it clear from day one. From day one. That, that, but the point I'm making is that responses like this from Dr. Mani Buama has to do with his posturing as far as, when I say his, I mean Kofi Bento, as far as um, Dr. Baumier's bid is concerned. And the fact that he seeks to distance him from government. He seeks to make the point that a vice president is virtually, he didn't say useless, but a vice president really... Um, doesn't do anything, he doesn't wield any power, he doesn't have any influence, he doesn't do anything. And so, and then that other post about how the government has failed completely and that he shouldn't use anybody apart from people like Kwabna Japan. Yes. Uh, but you see, the so no, I'm just saying that it is statements like that. Yes. That then elicits this point Absolutely. about you cannot. And even beyond that, this is the same Kofi Ventil who was praising the vice president. For initiating policies and programs. Okay. That is my point. Okay. That's the point I'm making. Okay. This same man in 2018 mm -hmm. said that look, Dr. Baumia is the best person to succeed at Kofodo because he's doing so well as head of the economic management team. So what has changed? Is the consistency. That's right. For, for a person who doesn't have any influence at all, cannot influence anything, is not in charge of anything. Is not responsible for anything. How is the person I judge the best vice president? Ever? That is the point. Ma and maybe for being silent. <laughs> I'm saying that in 2018, Kofi Benton's position was that the man has excelled because he's implemented so many policies, that he has developed so many policies as head of the economic management team, and that the economy was doing better because of this same man. Today, the economy is doing worse. And he says no. To the extent that he says that when he advised Ken, he doesn't take it. Mm -hmm. You know, Kofi uh, uh, said that. Yes. He openly said that, look, when the vice president advises Ken of Oretta, Ken doesn't implement the vice president's suggestion. That is why the economy is in a mess. And that, yes, the economy is in a mess. But don't blame Dr. Baumia. Extricate him. Blame Ken of Oretta and the rest of the team. And then when Dr. Baumia assumes office, he shouldn't work with A, B, C, D. He mm -hmm. should rather work with... That's, that's double standard. He lacks principle. And for such a person, Ghanaians should not take him serious. Because in 2018, you had the same position. In 2024, when things are getting tough and you know Baumia is on the way to losing the election, you want to beat a retreat and set different standards. That kind of double standard inconsistency ought not to be encouraged in our body politics. I should actually take uh, Honorable Japan's position. He says that Dr. Baumia has done very well as head of the economy and meeting. And that all the things we are witnessing today, Dr. Baumia is part of it, and that he's done very, very well. Mm. So let that be the position. 
The look, the MPP maintains that look. They've done very well. The economy, whether in a good shape or not, you can tell. But they claim they've done very well and they deserve an extension. So that the debate is settled. But this attempt to hoodwink Ghanaians, to deceive us, and create an impression that only Dr. Baumia is the only saint. The rest in government, they are so bad. Look, this electricity levy. We thought it was approved cabinet. I mean, before it finds its way... It goes to the economic budget, management team. It, the budget it would have gone through all that process. All these taxes we are witnessing, they will go to the economic management team. Mm -hmm. That's a fact. Deny it. Say that all these things, the head of the economic management team, he has no knowledge of it. Look, you will not who do it. No, but it comes to... It comes to uh, cabinet. cabinet. The budget comes yes. to cabinet. It's discussed at cabinet. You right? will know who Because it's the it. president's budget. It's not the finance minister's budget. That yeah. is it. Yeah. Approved by cabinet. Yeah. And the president has his head of the economic management team, the economic guru, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, who has failed woefully. He has failed woefully. Woefully. This is the man who told us he doesn't even believe in Ilevi. Before the 2020 elections, he said he doesn't believe in Ilevi. The next time he's implementing e levy when we talk about his inconsistency, he says about manifesto promise. Nobody's talking about manifesto promise. We are talking about an inconsistent vice president who you cannot trust. Let this man go home. Vote against the MPP. Let them go home. Let them go into a position, reflect on their tenor. They will learn some lessons. That is the fact about life. Let them go home. They've had enough. Eight years of mismanagement, eight years of incompetence, eight years of blame game, eight years of shifting the post, not addressing the issues, not tackling the issues, always trying to parry it, and all of a sudden, you think that you can whitewash Dr. Baumia and present him to us. You can even put a cassock on him, who we'll vote against him. Let this man go home, reflect on his bad stewardship. Next time he has the opportunity, he won't take you ordinary Ghanaians for granted. Mm. Thank you, Ryan.